Yo, what is everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create this really cool mask reveal effect in Final Cut Pro 10. So this is what the effect looks like right here. This really cool mask reveal effect. Most times you'd probably have this effect like a pop and freeze frame, but I thought it'd be really cool if you have like a mask reveal effect um, right here. So this is pretty much the effect um, right here. So it looks like kind of in slow motion or frame by frame. Now I got this idea from this video right here um, on Instagram right here. So I'll go ahead and kind of play it right here and show you kind of where I got the idea from right there. And that's basically where I literally got the idea from. It's this really cool glowing reveal effect um, right there so let's go ahead and kind of play it again frame by frame mostly this is probably done in After Effects but I just want to show you how to do it in Final Cut Pro 10 okay so you have it kind of playing right here all of a sudden as you can see right here so it's kind of glow in right here and there you go you have this really cool freeze frame so I thought why not give it a shot and try my best to kind of re um, create this effect obviously again it was probably made in um, After Effects but I kind of want to like a lot of my other tutorials I like to kind of recreate some After Effects effects or, or Premiere Pro effects in Final Cut Pro 10 which can definitely make it a little more challenging but it kind of adds to the fun of kind of this really cool creative challenge to come up with some of these really cool ideas so what you're just gonna do right here is I'll go ahead and start right here this right here is just a freeze frame of the first clip right here as you can see right here here is the frozen frame right here and you can see nothing moves and now we hit on the second clip so it's just like a generic um, freeze frame effect right here as you can see right here all four of these are freeze frames so what I basically did was I took this freeze frame like I did with any normal freeze frame transition and I broke it into two 10 frame uh, segments and then I just duplicated because this is how I created the glow animation right here so originally all these are connected and then I eventually split them um, in half. So you can see right here, here is the draw mask. So all you're going to do is have the draw mask um, to cut out the person right here. That's the most important part. So you kind of start with a 20 frame clip. You split it into four segments right here. You, or you split it into two segments and then you duplicate it right here. So it looks as simple as that. As a normal freeze frame effect, you just put a draw mask onto the freeze frame right here. Because you want to cut out the background right there. I'm kind of going to go frame by frame of how I created the effect. So just keep that in mind. You just cut out the subject. Now what I did right here was I actually went to the draw mask um, right here. Now I ended up keyframing the control points. I don't think I actually ended up doing anything with it. But it's good to kind of keyframe. You probably do want to kind of keyframe all of them, you know, um, just in case. Well, especially you want to keyframe the scale. That's important. But it's probably good to put a keyframe on everything just in case you want to change any of the control points. But again, the major part is the scale. So you want to keyframe in the scale that is the most important part and these can also help you know it's always kind of security just in case you end up wanting to change the control point if you don't keyframe it it's not going to animate it's going to look awful so you want to start the scale at zero right here and go to the keyframe button and keyframe the scale now the reason i split it into 10 or oh, two 10 frame segments is because i need feathering a lot for the first part and i'll explain why so i'll go right here i'll go to the beginning right here and you want to go to the uh, draw mask right here, keyframe the scale at zero, and as you can see right here, ten percent. As you can see right here, I'll go to the beginning again. Uh, I kind of want to make you aware of, of the kind of the scale right there. I'm kind of watch the scale right here: uh, zero percent, ten, twenty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, and then one hundred. And now the um, the draw mask is at a hundred percent. Now what I did was I literally just copied the layer um, over here. I'll go over the glow animation in a second right here. Now, the re you may ask yourself, okay, why in the world is your feathering set at negative 60? Well, I'll go ahead and change the feathering to zero right here, and you probably should be very quickly, easily identify why I had my feather down so low and why I had to split it up because I needed to put the feather um, at 60 for the first clip, but obviously not the end. So let's go ahead and go frame by frame. And as you can see right here, right here you see you still have a part of the background is showing right there and you don't want a part of the background showing right there so without any feathering you can still kind of see the outline of the background right here and that looks awful so let's go ahead and mark it right here and let's go ahead and put the feathering back to negative 60 right here and there you go as you can see the background is gone so what it just does is it just helps fade in the background or fade out the background right there 
and that's pretty much as simple as that and now you're just scaling um, the draw mask right here and then obviously this part right here this part section you don't want the feather to be at negative 60 because you want to actually see the subject now it's as simple as once you have that you just duplicate the layers right here so on the bottom layer right here we just have a glow animation so I just changed um, color the exposure the saturation um, right there and right here I added a focus blur right here and then I added a prism effect um, right there and there are all the settings for that and literally for this clip right here I did um, the exact same thing I added the color board added the focus blur and added the prism blur right here and I did the exact same thing for the draw mask. The draw mask for the glow animation also has to be key framing along with the top layer right here. And then I just literally added some motion blur on top just to kind of help make it uh, look a little bit more realistic. And there you go. That's literally how you create this really cool uh, mask reveal effect. This was the best idea, the closest I could come to the original effect right here. I think it's definitely really cool. Um, you can kind of put your own creative spin and your own creative twist on it. I think it's a very, very cool effect. And I've never seen a tutorial on this effect ever. So maybe I'm the first person. So if you've seen that video for some like, odd chance and you want to know how to create the effect, this is how you do it. It's literally all about scaling the draw mask. The draw mask is scaling the position of the person is not a keyframe the scale of the draw mask is keyframe right there and then you can add a glow animation or a glow effect glow outline to the bottom um, you obviously don't need a glow effect but I just did because the video had nothing it looked good and always remember you probably gonna have to increase the feathering a lot in the beginning so you don't show any of that bl uh, background in the back um, but that's pretty much it. That's literally how you create this really cool, really unique effect. I saw this video on my Instagram and I decided to do my best to try to recreate it. Again, it's probably an After Effects and this is probably about the closest you're going to get um, in Final Cut Pro 10. This is gonna be my best effort at trying to recreate the effect. I think I did a pretty good job. I like it. Of course, I love to hear feedback and criticism in the comments. Do you think I could have done anything better or, or do you have any other ideas? Again, never seen any video on this. Try my best to recreate it. If you have any other ideas that would help make this effect look a little bit better, feel free to leave in the comments uh, down below. I would love to hear some feedback and, criti and criticism on this effect. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, a Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 150 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. See you in the next one. Peace.